So Edmodo has recently updated its interface and added extra features um, to help you connect with your classes and with your colleagues on Edmodo. So you will be prompted and asked if you want to change over to the new Edmodo. And if you elect to do that, this is what your screen, your home screen will look like. You'll notice that instead of having words like home up the top here, you now have a series of symbols. So the one that looks like a little house is home. The next one over here is your planner. So that's like what your calendar has always been. This one, which is progress, is the grade similar to grade book, but your grade book has now been integrated with your badges. So it's easier to give badges for good work um, or a good assignment uh, and to keep track of how many badges each student has. Your library, a stack of books, and then there are some apps. I haven't really used apps that much. There's only two at the moment. There's one photo editing app and one which is SchoolTube, which is a really nice alternative to YouTube. Still, your profile and your account are up here on your top right, and you can still always search for what you're looking for if you can't find it. The other thing you'll notice is that your filters for your posts have now changed. So, as always, your kind of profile picture is here. It's much smaller now, uh, and you still have your latest posts. But where you used to have direct posts, uh, posts by me, posts by students underneath, those are now over here where you can filter your posts. So decide what you want to see. You can either just see all the latest posts or you can say, I just want to see alerts or assignments or I just want direct to me, just want ones by my students. So you can filter posts that way. If you are using tags, you can also filter them by the tags and just see certain tags that have been used. Other things that have changed a little bit is this part on the right hand side. Now it's going to tell you, it's going to suggest people you might like to connect with, but it's also going to tell you some recent activity. That might be um, people adding new things and you can add straight to your library from here now. So if you think that 25 TED Talks Perfect for Classrooms sounds great, you just click this little icon and it will be immediately added to your library. But this will also tell you things like uh, people that have logged on, students of yours that have logged on recently. So that's just a nice way of seeing the recent activity straight away. Another really cool thing that's been added to Edmodo is the way that people can interact with posts. So that's both the person, person that's posting it and the people that are reading the post and reacting to the post. So an example here from my lovely 7M class is I've put this post with a video to watch. Now what I can do is I can see how many people have actually watched that video. So this tells me that 13 people in total have viewed my video. And it also gives me a graph of when they viewed and how that's progressed. The other thing that I get to see now is this thing which is reactions. Now instead of just replying to a post, students uh, and yourself as well, uh, if you're in a group with colleagues, can react to a post. And you can react to their posts as well. So the reactions, it tells me that I have six reactions from students, that awesome is the most popular reaction, which is fantastic. And then it tells me all the reactions that have been made. And I can even see which individual students have pressed which reaction. So they can tell me that they like it or that it's interesting or that it's not clear and they don't understand. I can also react to posts, just like I am the one who has reacted to Mrs. Langowski's post about their uh, essay that is due. So another thing that you might be wondering about is where are my folders that I share with my group? That was one of the first things that I had a little bit of a fit about. Um, so this is my Year 11 English group. Um, and the folders, which used to be on this right-hand side where we now have recent activity, have now moved up here. So this is kind of your filter on what you're seeing as well. So if I go up here and I click folders, this also, the nice thing about this Edmodo is it tells you when the page is loading. You don't just sit there kind of waiting. And these are all my folders that I share with them. I can click it on and off whether I'm sharing it with them over here. So that's allowing members to access the folder. If I and click that one, it's still there, 
it's still in this group, but I'm not allowing them access to it yet. And then I click it when I want them to have access to it. I can also choose other folders that I want them to have access to. So if I decide that uh, I want them to have access to some Shakespeare stuff, I would just pull it over and I can pull it anywhere in the list. So the other thing that you can do is whichever one you're studying at the moment. So I'm studying Wilfred Owen at the moment. I can pull that one up to the top. So that's the first one they'll see. And maybe I know that I did change quite a while ago. So I might pull that one down to the bottom because we don't need it as much anymore. So that's a really cool new thing that you can do with folders as well. So the last new feature of Edmodo I'm going to be talking about in this video is the insights. So that's over here on your left hand side, you can click the insights tab and that shows you the reactions um, that have happened lately. So we were talking about reactions to posts earlier. Here you can see um, the reactions, whether they're trending positively or negatively, of course they're positive, negative, of course. Um, the other thing you can see is recent student performance. Overall, how are your students going in um, different assessment tasks and different exams that you've put on? The other things you can see, which I have left hidden down here, um, just because they have children's um, kids' full names in there, is you can see who's been the most active in your groups this week. Uh, that's both teachers if you have a group of colleagues or uh, students in your student groups and what resources have been popular with your groups this week. So you can also filter your reactions as well up here um, by groups so I can find out what year 10 thinks of stuff, not that I really want to know. But that's another feature uh, of Edmodo that kind of a lot of the features are trying to give you more insight into um, what's happening in your groups and more control over it.